In this video, we're going to be talking about how to get started and how to set up your HTML, HTML file to work with jQuery Mobile. Now, you need to download the jQuery Mobile uh, content. You also need to download the jQuery file and attach those and link those to your HTML once you start setting it up. Now, it's if you're using Dreamweaver, it actually helps you or sets this up for you if you start from one of their starter templates. However, I've noticed that Dreamweaver doesn't keep up to date with the code uh, as quickly as, as jQuery Mobile comes out with code. So you may have to update that content or you may have to download the, the latest version of jQuery Mobile and attach that content to your Dreamweaver uh, files that get created from that. However, in this case, I'm going to show you how to get started from a regular HTML file that you've just set up and how to download that and how, how to download the jQuery uh, content as well and attach those link those so you're ready to go and then we'll get into the content of actually building pages and uh, building the different types of uh, elements that you can use inside of jQuery mobile but let's first of all start an HTML file now you can use any HTML editor you can use Dreamweaver you can use uh, text wrangler you can use sublime text or anything like that for now I'm one of my favorite text editors is J is sublime text and so I'm going to pull up in sublime text and I'm just gonna go ahead and save this file on my desktop I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna start this folder or I'm just gonna name this folder starter and I'm gonna name my file index.html and now from here I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, copy and paste in some typical just HTML contents so we have our document type we have our HTML we have our header which in this case only has one meta tag right here um, we end our header and we have our body opening body tag closing body tag and closing HTML that's your typical just standard HTML file so what we want to do is we want to actually start attaching and linking our CSS and our jQuery mobile uh, files in order to actually start using jQuery mobile now to get to those I need to go to jQuery mobile's website first of all so I'm going to type in jQuery mobile Dot com and I'm going to download the latest stable version um, or I can come up to download here and actually click on where it says jQuery mobile 1.4.2 and this will download the JavaScript CSS files and it will download the images now if you wanted to use jQuery CDN that basically keeps the code away from your folder because once you're done with this everything's going to be contained within this folder so if you want it quicker if, especially if you're going to have a universal audience and there may be people from around the world you want it to load quicker so it's not just hosted on your server that code is actually hosted on servers across the world and it just loads that much quicker um, then you can actually do that by attaching or uh, linking to the CDN files as well in this case, I'm going to worry. I want to keep, if I'm going to do something in PhoneGap, I want to make sure that all my files are kind of attached. So I'm just going to show you how to attach those files and keep them all local. So I'm going to download this as a jQuery mobile zip. And so once it's downloaded, then I can start copying in the files that I need in order to, um, in order to actually start building the basics of my jQuery mobile. Now I'm going to open up this HTM or this uh, folder and let's go ahead and explore some of the files. So we have jQuery mobile, uh, 1.4.2.css. Well, we also have uh, jQuery mobile 1.4.2.js. Those are the JS files. Well, <clears throat> those are all, those are good and I can attach those, but if I wanted to load even a little bit quicker, then I would use the minified version, and that just gives me even that to much quicker of a load, and it's a smaller file size as well. You'll notice that right here, the 1.4.2 uh, min.js, coming over to the right here, is one, uh, 196 kilobytes. Well, the unminified version is 453 kilobytes. So it's just even that much smaller. And so that's what the benefit of the minified version is. So I'm going to grab this CSS file and I'm going to grab this JavaScript file. And I'm going to paste that inside of my starter folder. And that way I can attach to these files and I can use those files uh, inside of my application. Those are the only files that I actually need for now. If I'm going to get into theming, if I'm going to get into inline PNGs, icons, external PNG type of stuff, or SVGs, I may want to use those later. The only other image or the only other folder that I need to grab is this images folder. Now the reason why is because it does use, when you're using icons and you're using uh, 
buttons and you want to have icons within those buttons it does use elements from the images so I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste that over one other thing in the download is the demos folder now this demos folder if I double click on the index.html file is exactly what I showed you in a couple of videos they actually give you the code for this so you can go in and you can manipulate it however you want if you wanted to break it apart if you wanted to see how the HTML is working in certain areas um, you can do that all of that code for all of the pages for the panels pop-ups and everything is inside of that demos folder for now that's all I need so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna delete the jQuery mobile uh, download here but I do want to because I'm going to at a later time be using jQuery commands I'm going to be using uh, swipe events and tap events and everything like that let me just go ahead and attach the jQuery uh, JavaScript library as well now if I'm on the jQuery mobile website up on the top you'll notice over on the left hand side um, it links me to the actual jQuery website jQuery.com now I can click on over on the right hand side download jQuery and then let's go ahead and download um, for this I mean you can download whatever version you want if you wanted to download the latest version um, I'm going to download the compressed production jQuery uh, content now sometimes if you click on it if you're on Safari it just tells you the code or you can right click and click on download a linked file and now I can copy and paste that inside of here as well so I have jQuery dash one dot one one dot one and that will actually um, allow me to use jQuery commands there